In version 31, we're offering a huge amount of control over your feed rates by introducing the advanced feed rates page to many of the mill and lathe operations. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my adaptive roughing and then just say edit. Now if I go to the profile finish and I go down to the advanced feed rates page, the first thing we'll see is the general overrides. The general overrides option allows me to convert rapids to feed rates. So I'm able to go in and make a change to the feed rate on any rapid move. So instead of even having a G00 come out with the rapid feed rate, it would convert it so that it comes out with whatever feed rate I enter. Now the other options we have are on the leads, when we enter the material and when we leave the material. So I'll go ahead and turn off the convert rapid to feeds. Now on the leads, we can choose whether or not we speed up or slow down the feed rate when we enter the material. So when we're doing our lead in and when we're doing our lead out. Normally, if we just check this and leave this at 100, it's going to keep the feed rate the same no matter what we're doing. But if we come in and say go 50% on the lead in and 50% on the lead out, when I go ahead and look at my feed rates, we'll see that the cutting feed rate right now is set to 40 and the plunge is set to 20. So I'll go ahead and say finish. So when we go and post the code, we could just right click on the milling job and say post. Now if we look through the code, we'll see that the first line here with a feed rate is at 20 because that's our plunge feed rate. So if we go down to the G41, we'll see it stays the same. Because the feed rate was 20 here and I'm using 50% of my feed rate, it's going to stay at 20 inches until it finishes the lead in and then it's going to switch to 40 inches per minute as it cuts the rest of the part. The next option we have if we edit this feature and this time we'll go to the advanced feed rates under the pocket. Now the pocket right now is using an adaptive roughing high speed machining strategy. So I'll go to the advanced feed rates and we still have the convert rapid to feed. And then right here we have the direct blend spline links. Now leaving this unchecked gives us a normal feed rate. It's going to follow the same feed rate we set for everything else. But when we check it, the link moves are set to a feed rate specified in this text field here. Now these options are only available when using the advanced pocket patterns. Right down here we then have our adaptive feed rates. Now standard is going to use the feed rate set on the tool page. So it's whatever settings were pulled in with the tool. Then we have adaptive or volume based machining. Now volume based machining analyzes the engagement in the material and speeds up or slows the tool based on the amount of tool engagement. So with the adaptive, we have the minimum feed rate, which is the slowest feed rate that's allowed to be output. In this case, down to 10% of my cutting feed rate. And then we have the max feed rate percentage. So in this case, up to 150% of my cutting feed rate can be used. We then have radial chip thinning, which still has the minimum and maximum feed rate options. But radial chip thinning calculates the amount that the feed rate should be increased to compensate for the typically smaller step overs used in the high speed adaptive toolpath strategies. So the minimum feed rate and the maximum feed rates allow you to set the minimum or maximum feed rates using a percentage of the cutting feed rate when using an adaptive or a radial chip thinning. And that concludes the video on the advanced feed rates for version 31.